it's definitely wrapped around the prop and it tore the wooden cleat right off of the uh, cockpit combing. As the sun broke the horizon, we glided across the calm water into the territory of Albania. You want us to anchor and then come into the harbor and talk in person? It's okay, correct, yes. Albania. This was our first time sailing into a country not in the European Union. We performed the formalities and wandered into town to find a bite to eat. <laughs> While wandering back to the boat, we spotted this statue of Hillary Clinton. And we found out that there's also a statue of George Bush in Albania. We looked into it and found out that Albania is a major ally for the United States and that we are allowed to actually be in Albania for a year without a visa. So, we rented scooters and decided to explore a small portion of this sparsely populated land. <laughs> We came to a natural spring in the mountains known as the Blue Eye. Go straight to the springs or you're on a pier? Pier. Pier. We enjoyed a natural cold water plunge, which invigorates the nervous system and clears the mind. Yeah, I got a bit of a brain freeze. And my core temperature definitely dropped like considerably. Yeah. That's several cups of coffee right there. Great. We scooted deeper into the Albanian mountains. Ran out of fuel. Jackson still has fuel. Ran out of petrol. Turns out the fuel gauge in this totally does not work because it said it was full. <laughs> and we're like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Jackson has petrol, so he's going into town. And uh, I think I think we can probably walk into town. It looks like there's a small town up here. Turns out the bike has a reserve tank, so we didn't run out of gas. So this is just ridiculous. It's almost dark. <laughs> Maybe we should get a hotel for the night. I was just thinking about that. Yeah. We got these bikes until one. Go grab a bite to eat. Yeah.
Arriving late in the evening in Jorcaster, we found a hotel. In the morning, we scooted our way back to Ariandra. Pit stop for herb foraging. Yerba? And Yerba and thistle. And the goat. One of my favorite things about the Mediterranean is fresh, wild figs. We casually made way up the cove-filled coast of Albania. Bearing down on the anchor in Albania in a bay. Uh, thing was behind us, I look back and I go, Ooh, the line might get, and then caught in the, uh, oh yeah, tore that cleat yeah. right off. I was like, oh, the mine line might get uh, caught in the propeller. But I was like, oh no, it's a short line. It probably won't. <laughs> I was like, oh, son of a. So anyway, I have my phone and I have to dive on the propeller because I can't turn the shaft by hand. And using my iPhone as a light. We don't have any waterproof lights. Definitely caught. Jackson's up front, keeping an eye to make sure we don't drift into anything. We're in a nice bay, super calm. It doesn't really seem like we're drifting because the anchor is down. It's definitely wrapped around the prop and it tore the wooden cleat right off of the uh, cockpit combing. And that's just floating down there in the line. Wrapping a propeller is something that most boaters have done at some point or another. And although it forbids the vessel from moving and damages the engine and gearbox, it is straightforward to deal with. All you have to do is unwrap the present you just gave yourself, which is easier said than done. While I'm struggling with the propeller, subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend you would love to adventure with. We were reversing, so the propeller was spinning anti-clockwise, so I spun it clockwise to uh, help loosen it up. That's why I had to wear shoes so I could like push it because it was really wedged in there. But we're free now. Doesn't seem like too much damage was done. This is the cleat that got torn off the boat. And this is the line that was all wrapped up. I don't think anything is... What's that? Imminent, imminent, <laughs> imminent. There's a ton of bees here, which is nice because all the bees are dying. Happy birthday, Scavenger Jack. Thanks, guys. Happy birthday. <laughs> we appreciate you and all your effort and that you exist. You're a wonderful soul.